Hi, I'm Daryl. I own the Full Bore Engraving Co. I do the videos for this channel. And I know this is the first time you see me on camera other than my hands, but don't let that scare you off. This week I want to make a video of how to get that real nice frosty look on the glass engraving. I'm going to show you how I set it up in Corel Draw. I'm going to show you the settings that I use for the laser and a little tip at the very end of how to smooth it up very easily so you don't get stuck with the little shards of glass that it creates. So anyway, let's get into the video and we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up the glass engraving in Corel Draw before we go to the laser. So I'm going to start, click this plus button, which starts a new page. I'm going to, I'm going to name this one Fire Chicken. I'm going to leave the preset as custom, number of pages one. I want to make sure my primary color mode is RGB. And then I'm going to change the... I want the size to be 10 inches by 10 inches. You can make that any size you want, but that's convenient for what I'm doing right now. And then click OK. So it brings up a blank page. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to drag in my bitmap of the fire chicken and hit P just to center it in the page. And if you look at it, it is a bitmap. There's a little roughness around the edges. And let me show you something else. If I put a rectangle around it and fill it with yellow and then go up here to object order to the back of page you can see I not only have a graphic of black but it's also white in the background and that's okay because the laser is not supposed to engrave white sometimes if it's not exactly white it will engrave some of that so I don't like to leave it like that I've done that in the past and it's worked but you never know when it's not going to so let's let's go back to our pick tool click the rectangle and get rid of it so i'm going to change it to a, a vector so we're going to select it and i'm going to hit trace bitmap outline trace and clip art that's what i normally do there's other options there you can try them if something doesn't work right but this one usually works i'm going to just make that bigger so you can see it and here's the progress. Watch this progress button down here, uh, number down here until it hits 100, and then you'll you'll be ready to modify it if you need to. <coughs> so there it is. Didn't take too long. The little squares in the background mean it's taking the background out. So now all we got is the black. So let's zoom in on the head, and I'll show you the difference in a bitmap. You can kind of see the jagged edges around here. And this smooth edge, that's what a vector is. So let's go back. Everything looks good. I'm going to go over here and click OK. Now we still have that bitmap there. So let's drag this top over. And if you zoom in, you'll see how smooth it is. So that's our vector. This one over here is our bitmap. We don't need the bitmap anymore, so let's just delete it. Click on it and press delete. Let's just move this one back to the center page. Click on it and hit P. Now, before we send this to the laser, we want to make sure that this color is 80% black or 80% gray, however you want to put that. But if you'll notice right now, down here at the bottom, the, black, it, the color is zero, which means it's actually black. So if I click up here in the RGB color palette, RGB black, You'll see down here it went R0, G0, B0. That's the RGB black. What we want for glass engraving is 80% black. So there's 90% black. The third one down is 80% black. R51, G51, B51. So click that and set it to self to gray. That's important because your at least an epilogue laser will engrave it differently depending on what color it is. We want this 80% black. 
So we've got that. So now I want to show you what it's going to look like going to the printer. So I hit the print button up here. I'll make sure epilogue grave engraver is selected and current page, current document and click print. So this is not hooked up to my laser right now. So you won't see the cameras that will show up over here. And you also won't see a preview of it here, but I just want to show you what it's going to look like when we send it to the laser. So I need to select my engraving parameters. Right now they're set for 500 dots per inch, 50% feet speed, 50% power. So if you click this import material settings button, then you get a material library come up. So scroll down to you see glass and they've only got one listed here. You can save and others to it if you want to. You can click on it once and hit import or you can double click it. So let's double click that and you can see what the settings did. It went to 300 resolution, 40% speed, 100% power. And one more little trick on this dithering. Select that and go to Stucky. And then hit print. And that will send it to the laser. Like I said, this one's not hooked to the laser, so it's not going to do that. But we'll... Um, Go to the laser next and show you how it engraves it. So if you're not hooked up to the laser, you'll get this print error. So don't worry about that. All right. We'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, here it is out of the laser and you can see how frosty it looks how smooth it looks but there's one little thing I like to do before I give it to a customer and that is if you feel it if you put your finger across it like this you can feel some roughness to it even though it looks smooth as can be there's some little shards of glass still sticking up so I take some super fine steel wool. And when I say super fine, that's the name of it. It's, it's super fine. Let me back this camera out here and I'll show you what, I've, what I'm using. So the 0000, zero, zero, zero is the coarseness. And if you'll, you probably can't, you might not be able to see it very well, but right here is the grades. So it goes all the way up coarseness of four all the way down to four zero so that's i'm using the finest stuff i could find and all you got to do let me zoom back in just a little is just take it and rub it across up and down around and around and then put your finger across it as smooth as can be all you can feel is the slight roughness of the engraving so that is the way 
to do excellent frosted glass work. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe and like and give me some comments. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. So until the next one, have a good day. Bye.